Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to add or apply a style until a condition is met with while. The while directive is an option with similar functionality to the JavaScript while loop. It creates CSS rules until a condition is met. The for challenge gave an example to create a simple grid system. This can also work with the while. So here they uh, describe a variable as x and then while x is less than 13, they're using a column selector which is growing um, from 1 to 13 well actually 1 to 12 because it's less than 13 and then with each one they are multiplying 100 percent divided by 12 times whatever that is so on at 1 it's 1 times 100 percent divided by 12 uh, so that's 12 percent and then the second one would be 12 percent um, and or 24 percent and so on and so forth and then they increment the x as well so first define a variable x and set it to one next use the while loop while directive to create a the grid system while x is less than 13 after setting the css rule for the width is incremented by one to avoid an infinite loop use while to create a series of classes with different font sizes there should be five different classes for text one through text five one two three four five text one through text five and then set the font size to 15 pixels multiplied by the in current index number make sure to avoid an infinite loop okay so this is going to be very similar to our last one um, we're going to first uh, set a um, index and we're going to set the index equal to one because our first text is one and so we want it to be less than six right and so we're going to say at while uh, our index is less than six we want to do something but what we want to do before we do anything is do the index is equal to the index uh, plus one and then all we have to do is assign the class within here and what we want the font size so we're gonna go font size well, first we have to uh, choose the selector, right? And so here we have text. What we want to do is, we, as we iterate through, we want to make it so that it, we, we're calling on class one. So we're the, we're using a period to call the class, and then, oops, and then we're going to add text here, and then we're going to say dash, and then we're going to do string interpolation to inject the index here. So we've got text one, text two, text three, text four, text five as we iterate through this while loop. And then we're going to set the index equal to a uh, font size uh, with, and we're going to set the font size to be equal to um, 15 pixels uh, times the index. And I'm just uh, in, uh, improving the spacing here. Um, I like to make sure my code's always sort of indented in a consistent way because this makes it so that it's much easier to work with code. But uh, as you can see, we're pretty much um, getting the same thing done that we got completed with the last exercise. Uh, we're just increasing the font size based on where the while loop is. So this initial one, if I right click here and inspect the element, you'll see that hello has a uh, font size of 15 pixels. The next one has a font size of 30 pixels. The next one has a font size of 40 pixels. And so that's how we do it. Uh, it's just like a while loop in JavaScript. And so that's what they're trying to show that you're able to do here. So if we run the test, it looks like the pass. Awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next video.